Hello, and welcome back to Elijah Special. Today we'll be looking at how to georeference a scan map. All right, so you come under the view type and then you click on the catalog panel. So it's gonna come up like this. So you go to your folder and then navigate to the very folder your work is in. So mine is in final maps. And then I'm gonna pick the admin map of the rubber state. So I'm going to just drag and drop. So it's asking me to calculate statistics. Yeah. So it's going to calculate the statistics, but we will not see it because we have a base map and uh, with the base map we also have the base map have the coordinate system, but but as this one down. So what we will do here is to just um, right click and zoom this to layer. So we're going to see the map. Okay, so now this is what we want to do reference. Unlike the ArcGIS desktop that you only have few ways to do reference, this I can draw reference using the coordinates. Which I, if I pick here, here, if I pick this point, this will be 10. Now let's use the two ways of geo referencing and try this. Okay, so the first is I'm going to go to edit. Sorry, I'm going to go to imagery and I'm going to click geo reference. So under your reference, I'm going to add control point. So on the control point, I'm going to zoom, zoom very well to this, and then I'm going to select, then I'll zoom back down because I will need the point here. So we need to know which one is our X and which one is our Y. So click and then it's going to come out all right so we have degree minutes seconds so I'm going to uh, so I'm going to select the longitude and the latitude so I'm going to put in 10 0 0 and here I'm going to put in 9 0 0 then I'll OK so it's going to disappear but as usual you know how it is on ArcGIS desktop so you zoom back to layer so then we're moving to the site so this side will have what is the coordinate that we have there? We have 9 again and we have 12. Okay, so still going to come like this and then at the intersection. At the intersection, I'm going to click and still use this one so we have 10 or oh, we have 12 here 0 0 and 0 and then we have 9 0 and 0 so we're going to OK same is becoming stable so we move to the third point just zoom to extend so right. Right, so move to third point. Our third point is somewhere here. So we have seven on the north and twelve on the east. So and we still use DMS, so we have twelve on the east, zero and we have seven on the north 
I've been making mistakes and using salt. It's supposed to be not to. Yeah. Okay. Let's just hope it works. <laughs> because I'm supposed to have been using it. To... I just said it. It's not going to work. I've been using the east, the south instead of the north. So we'll go to the control point and clear them off. Okay, so we'll clear them off. And we'll add them again. Alright, so we'll right click and then. Yeah, so. We'll go over it again. Then we select. And we have 10, 9, 0, 0, 0. So it's east and north. North, east and. Okay, so that was the first mistake I made. So we'll be back. So the next point we will have is 12 and, uh, and 9 on the east and on the north. So you need to be you need to be paying attention to these little details. So we have 12 0 on the east, 9 0 on the north. All right. So our third point, so you can see that it's already up to where Taraba is. So then our third point will be is 7 and 12, right? 7 on the east and 12, 12, yeah, 12 on the east, 12 on the east and 7 on the north. So let's let's put in our so we have 12, 0, 0 on the east, 7, and 0 on the north. OK. So we have our last point to impute, which is 10 and 7. 10 is on the east and 7 on the north. So, 10, 0 on the east, 7, 0, 0 on the north. So if we look at this, we see that it's currently uh, the allocated space of Taraba. So these four points are enough for us and then we can go ahead and uh, look at our attribute table. So when you look at the residual, you look at the residual of X is 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2, minus 8. So you can keep enhancing until you improve better on this. So it has to be, it has to be something you practice to get better at it. If that's okay by you, then you click the save button. So it's automatically going to save and then you can save it as a new raster by clicking on save as new raster you fill in this and then you save all right so the second of this is uh when you don't have any coordinates on the let me clear all of the coordinate system the point now let's say you don't have any point at all on this image and you want to georeference it 
So how do you do? Now with the eight of with the eight of the with the eight of the base map ArcGIS Pro provide, you can easily do that. So let's right click and zoom to layer. So I'm going to make a selection at this point. Okay. So then I'm going to locate it at the the base map. So, so he, this is where I make selection. So I'm going to select this. Okay, so it, you see that it has shifted here. Now the next is, I'll pick the second point. So since I understand the boundary, I will pick this one along Adamawa side as my second point. So I'll select and locate it in the Adamawa part of the boundary. So here is the Adamawa part of the boundary. So I'm going to make a selection there. So we're heading to the third point. So because it's already uh, the point, so I may not be able to see the rest. So I'll have to select and then move out of it so that I can see. So I'm going to select along Kashaka side. So I'll make a selection along the boundary of Taraba and Cameroon. So this is Taraba and Cameroon boundary. So I'm going to be making that selection. So I'm going to bring back the map. Okay, so we have the last point to select. So I'm going to be making selection at the other part of the Cameroon Benue Taraba side. So I'm going to be making selection here. And then I will delete this. So Here I'm going to pick this and then bring it back. So if you're not satisfied with all of the points selected, let's say you feel it is not fully uh, covering all the areas, you have to make adjustment, may add other points and all that. So, but let's say I'm just here to give you a guide. Let's say it's fair enough for me like that and I'm okay with it. I'll just check the control point and look at my residual errors. Though the residual errors are much, so you need to practice to perfect this residual error side. So basically you can see that it's even trying to bend anyway, but that's not a problem. So you just need to perfect yourself by going through it over and over. As usual, if you're okay, you click save and then you also save as new to export your your um, t file that's as a raster now so if i want to save at all of this place i'll just hit export so it's going to export and then that's all so this is it for today and i will see you in the next video